Yeah, I know. I know. It's it's just stupid. Like no one's really into this. But I, there are people that are into it. There are people that are into this, and I don't know how. And they're mad when people aren't into it. And like I've seen people say, like, well, people who've actually played the game love it. And it's like really because when you read most of those Steam reviews, a lot of them are, it's fine, but I would only buy it on a sale, and yeah. that counts as positive. Right. Right. But that's not really positive. I don't care what you say. That's not very positive. It's fine, but I'd buy it for twenty dollars instead of seventy. Wow, real positive. In in fact, to be honest, that that's kind of a negative. Yeah, which I think we said last time we played. Yeah. You know, we were talking a little bit about that. I don't really consider that a super positive review, even if Steam does. With the giant metal jellyfish. Brainiac's storage units, a captive human population awaiting enlistment into his army to fight on your world. Why didn't you bust him out then, mate? Make an army? Beat Brainiac? Jeez, pull your finger out! This is the level of strategy your world's boomerang employs? Mm-hmm. Hold on! I still don't get how Lex faked his own death. Faked his... boomerang? Oh, what do you think is happening right now? If I'm being honest, I wasn't strictly paying attention back there. But I want to say, um, time travel? I'm not your Lex. This isn't your dimension. We are in a variant timeline, and honestly, Lady Boomerang would have picked up on this a lot quicker. I wish I'm playing as Lady Sweet Boomerang. Lady she sounds boring. But did he, like, bang Lady Boomerang? I think so, yeah. He sounds like he was, like, throwing his boomerang back and forth inside her hall of justice, you know? Doesn't he? <laughs> Whoa, that was cool. I did, like, a really awesome finisher. And by the, by the way, the style of this game, like, parts of the style are cool. Yeah. You know, like, the movement and all this stuff. Neat. I like it. I like the world. I like, I like the gameplay is fun. Like, I'm talking, like, me running around as these people shooting and stuff is fun. Would you want to do it for more than an hour if you had to? Like, uh, in one sitting, you mean? Yeah. No. So it's not, like, Arkham fun, and it's not, like, Spider-Man fun. No, it's just, it's, it's fun. It's enjoyable. It's like Marvel's Avengers, it's just, it, it's, it's a fun game. Yeah, you know, actually, by the way, I found Marvel's Avengers fine, too. Yeah, same. I never thought that it was this atrocity. I just thought it could have been way better, and it was unfortunately mediocre. Yes. Very good cosmetics, though. Yeah, very cool. Like, very awesome There was costumes. a lot of very interesting stuff about that game. When they added all those MCU costumes, that was really neat. Yeah. It was a game I was very happy I played, but I don't know if it was really, uh, you know, like an amazing game. Are you never going to play it again? <clears throat> well, especially... I, I don't know. I might play it at some point. Would you just mess around on it, or would you try and play the whole story again? I'd probably try playing the whole story again at some point. That makes sense. For me, I turn it on, at, like, a couple times a year, and I mess around. Yeah, right. Yeah, but that's kind of weird. We saw Lex die. I'm just gonna stick with Luther. Luther? Please don't. I was just brainstorming. Let's try on Lex 2 for now. Until something funny comes along. I don't know. Maybe I just complained about the game too much. Yeah. There's there was a lot to complain about. <laughs> there was a Krypton exposition. That's neat. Oh, that's cool. What if it's like the Batman experience? That'd be cool. Too bad we can't go in it. I know. Maybe in this universe they actually made a good Superman game or a five. And then this was the follow up to those. Structures as the scaffolding. In a few more years, this world will be a more accurate copy of Kolu. I don't intend to be here to see it. What's up with this guy's, like, uh, obsession with coronavirus? I don't know. That's a problem that will need your brand of solution. I wonder how long he was going to stay in that building before he showed up. I have no idea. Hey, look, a battleship is up here. That's kind of cool. I am going to die. One thing I've never understood about, um, yeah, uh, like super villains plans to like destroy things like this, like Brainiac, oh jeez, 
the giant creature. Brainiac's plan, like, let's destroy this universe, and let's go to this one and destroy that. It's like, okay, let's say you achieve your goal, then what? I guess he's just happy he made a bunch of copies of his homeworld and turned everything into his homeworld. Like, okay. I guess that's it. You just want, like, 5,000 homeworlds? That just seems to be his plan, is like, to okay. turn everything into new Kolu. Like, I've just never understood it. It's like, let's destroy these worlds! It's like, okay, so you destroy the world. Cool. Now there's no world left to, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah, Boomerang conquer or Boomerang. Brainiac conquers worlds in his universe, or, like, in the comics and stuff, or tries to. Um, but typically he also will collect stuff from them. He's more of, like, a librarian a lot of the times. Yeah. You know, who, like, wipes out a world and then collects, like, the the best stuff from it. Yeah, right. But I don't know if this Brainiac does that or not yet. You know? Like, I and I, I don't know. Brainiac's a weird character. He's different in almost every interpretation. There's not really a lot of uh, consistency to him. You know, where, like, he's not the same in most of these versions. Right, yeah. So that's kind of why it's hard for me, where it's like, I don't feel like I can judge it based off comics. You know, the comics version of him. Because... Well, I'm doing a finisher on him. Oh, okay, got it. Because also, I feel like they changed Boomerang a lot here, too. Like, for example, Boomerang, I don't think in the comics would necessarily want to murder Flash and take out his dick and pee on him. Right. Like, most of Flash's rogues gallery, for both Barry and Wally, by the way, people misinterpret and say, no, it's just Wally, no Barry, too. A lot of his rogues gallery actually does, you know... Big deal! Who hasn't drunk their iron urine? What the a lot of his rogues gallery respects him at least enough that if he did die, they wouldn't, like, gloat about it a ton. Right. So I just find a lot of these changes to characters odd, I, I guess. Well, the other thing that's weird to me, too, is... Um, in this game, Captain Boomerang is the only white guy. Uh-oh. And... He's also, like, the most evil person in the game. And gross, and, and he doesn't gross, shower. And just kind of stupid. By the way, my game just froze for a while. Mine did too. And I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and like go on a whole preach. preach no, I want to hear it. That, it's better but... than just complaining about the game story like well, I Well, I just, I find that interesting, is all. No, 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 tell us what you mean. What do you mean? I find it very interesting. <laughs> I do too, I kind of think it's intentional. I think so too. Although like the one white girl is a good guy, or not a good guy. She's She was misunderstood and going through a phase and now she's better. Yeah, Harley, right. You know, so I don't. I don't really know. I don't know if there's like a consistent well, but, messaging. But also, that sign said "Join the real heroes," and they weren't oh, gay people. They were the police. Yeah, well, so, the police are the real heroes, not gay people. Well, like, gay seriously? police are the truest heroes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if I'd say all police are heroes. No, they a are. Lot of them suck too. They are. Okay. They are the real heroes. It's like some kind of military recruitment strategy. I mean, this game says that they're the real heroes, so they are. That's true, that's a good point. This game also said Lex Luthor is not a bald cancer victim, though. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. So that went against your logic, too. <laughs> okay, we have to destroy this thing? We have to take out the guys first, and then the shield will go down so we can destroy it. Okay. That's kind of been the objective. Go to place, wipe out group of guys. Go to place, do thing, wipe out group of guys. Okay, I'm... I really don't want to complain, like, every part of this Let's Play, but I want to say this again. Okay, I'm fine complaining. I'm playing this because you guys want me to play it. If I had my way after the Batman experience and there was nothing else like it for hours, I would have stopped Let's Playing this. Yeah, right. And Nate and I would have been playing something else. Um... Is that too negative? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> But my thing is, like, why is that the only objective for this game? Like, every mission is just, here's a group of guys, kill a group of guys, destroy tower thing that is having a shield around it, but can only be deactivated when you kill a group of guys. I mean, that's kind of just the genre, though, dude. That's a looter shooter. But I do think Destiny has way more variety than that. And I see people always compare this to Destiny. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know, I feel like... I've seen a lot of people say, like, what's the genre? Dip in this world. A very astute question, Shark. I believe it exists in both universes, acting as a conduit, if you will. Nah, teach his pet! I am not a pet. 
See, stuff like that, like how the multiverse works, I find interesting. Yeah, same. And I will be happy if they bring back this, the Justice League. I won't, I won't like, lose all my criticisms, because I still maintain that then, obviously, it was shock value to get people invested and come back for post-launch content. Yes. My question is, how well will that work? Because if the game base is already not great, I don't know. You know, the, did I tell you that Arkham Knight's player count on Steam doubled after this game's launch? Well, yeah, because I think everyone was like, oh, I'd rather go play that. Yeah. Which, by the way, I thought everyone hated Arkham Knight. It is my favorite game, but I thought everyone hated Arkham Knight. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I, it's not my, my favorite Arkham game. Game. Right, it's not my favorite, but I still think it's a very good game. But uh, every time anyone talks about it, it's just like, the Batmobile sucks! Right. I'm like, okay, but it's a good game. Right, and they'll get mad at the fact that you, um... Oh, what's the other thing? Because I agree that there's too much Batmobile. Same. Uh, but I don't think that makes the game bad. They'll also go to, oh, well, Joker shouldn't have been in the game, even though that and Origins are my favorite uses of him. Right. So, yeah, no, I don't know. I, I think people are just very hard on that game. So, I think it's a little bit of revisionist history. I like, think so, too, actually. All of a sudden, people are a big fan. It's like, bro, when I was, like, when I enjoyed this game, where were you? Well, that, yeah, and the same goes with uh, the prequel trilogy, and there's so much revisionist history in the world. Like, everyone's like, well, actually, wait a minute, I was a huge fan. It's like, really? Yeah, where were you? This is, like, the most hated game in the series when I was when I liked it. Or, yeah, or movie or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, no, I agree. I'm about to die here. All right. I was trying to get these guys off Lex's truck. We can go. Okay. Get in the portal. Okay, I'm trying. Can you get here? Because I can't okay. attack while you're doing whatever you're okay. doing. Okay. Oh, we got it. We got a trophy. Or I did. I didn't. Reach level 10. Ow. With a squad member. Still work. Just the power draw. Anytime, Lex. Anytime. Just a few more calculations. Why is Harley always, like, jumping during stuff? I don't know. <laughs> what if we jump to a world where having facial hair got you brutally no gang beat? <laughs> no, we circulated air! Why would that be a world? <laughs> died in here. But damn it, I'm free. It's like the New York Yankees wet dream. <laughs> Is everybody present? They actually have a rule that when you're on the team, you can't have facial hair. Hi, boomerang. Well, they, they want them to look professional. I'm here. Ah, don't worry, guys. I'm here. Yeah, we we're all so worried. Come in. I repeat, Task Force X, come in. Waller, listen, we've got a problem. You vanished. You better have a damn good explanation. Explanation of your killers. We know. How's this? We killed Flash. You're welcome. And got sent to another frickin' dimension for our trouble. You were there? How in the hell did you get back? Well, funny you should ask that, cause... Hold the line, hun. I am not your hun. Tell me where Waller happened. of this world can't know I'm here. Sorry, buddy, but we got no reason to lie for you. Nothing personal. But we'll get 30 years easy off our sentences for bringing you in. Alive this time. The same devil's bargain my Waller made with Task Force X back home. Quinn! Uh, uh. <sighs> Breaking up and Colonel! I was enlisted into her schemes just like you. Answer me! Her choices got you all killed. <laughs> that does sound like her. And us. Get this into the Intersectum computer. I can prove your Waller's the same type of monster. Quinn! Answer me! Talk now! Or I'll make sure it's never! We are... Uh, our comms, they busted. Our comms were busted. Denning, get in here! You said the comms upgrade would be seamless. I've had it with your shit. Get your ass to the garage. You're on gerbil cleanup. Yeah, 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 Dennings! Get your shit together! Denning sucks. 
You four, we're gonna have a chat about this other dimension. Return to the Hall of Justice, now! Waller out! You owe us. And I'll repay you in full. Well, go on then! This adaptive technology will increase the lethality of your weapons. Haven't had any complaints about my lethality, but okay, how does it work? It's a self-correcting neural... Uh, how does it work? No. Oh, I got a trophy. Welcome to another tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, seriously. <laughs> Put simply, it learns from your weapon use and constructs enhancements. Any questions? Why does it look like a spider? Oh, why wouldn't it? Okay, that was it. <laughs> yeah, I why guess does it look like a spider? spider? Why wouldn't it? Debrief, or handling Task Force X business Can I play out of the city. Uh, dead shot for a little bit. Yeah. You before want to we switch go? our teams? Yeah, let's switch our teams okay. before, before we continue. So, okay. I wanted to say, by the way, I don't know if it'll make it into the same part. We're I'm backing out, okay? I don't know if it'll make it into the same part, but to answer your question on the writing around um, around Captain Boomerang, yeah. Um, I don't really know what to think about it. Like, it could be intentional. Like, genuinely, it it really could be. It's hard to say. Like nowadays, everybody is always trying to stick some kind of message into their thing have you noticed this yeah right like some big deep message or be harley by the way you want to be harley yeah okay so i'll be just king shark and deadshot sure right is that correct yeah okay um somebody's always trying to stick a message in their story right. so it's it's 100 percent possible it's just hard for me to know you know like it could also just be a coincidence i don't know I don't really know what to think about it because I feel like this game is just very I can't tell what it wants to be like does it have a message I don't know is it just trying to be fun I don't know well, it, it feels very cynical I also don't really want to be that person that's just like it's obviously because they hate white people well no I, I know because everyone's I, gonna be like well wait a minute here and I'm not backtracking on what you're saying either I'm just saying that I can't tell if this game is trying to have a message or not right yeah. I, I genuinely can't tell like I can't tell if it's just trying to be stupid fun or if it's trying to have some kind of like big whatever I, I can't tell yeah same I, I guess I can't pin down what the game wants to be in general like I feel like as this game has Guardians of the Galaxy vibes in how the, the characters get along, which is probably why my favorite part of it is the character interactions. Yeah. Like, between the squad is funny. But I do think that they very clearly made, um, you know, certain people less likable than others. Uh, I'm going to have to swap my person here. Well, yeah, don't you want me to be Deadshot and King Shark? Yeah, I'll be Boomerang. Or did you want me to have Boomerang still? Uh, I can have Boomerang. Okay, I haven't really played as in a while. Okay. Well, then let's, uh, <clears throat> I guess, ready up. I don't know. That's that's kind of my thoughts. Is like, I'm not backtracking on what you're saying, because I, I agree. It definitely could be intentional. It's just hard for me to tell, because the white girl is also a good person. Like, Yeah, the, but she's also a female. Right. And this does kind of scream a game that was written by a group of people who would be out dumping votes at 4 a.m. <clears throat> What do you mean by that? I don't know. I don't mean anything. Those were by, legitimate. I don't mean anything by that. But like when I went to buy the game and I had to show my Vax card, it was a show. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But I, I, like, there's all these like random things. Like when we get to the Batman part, there's like lines from Harley about how like Bruce inflicted emotional trauma on people. Well, everyone which, has emotional trauma. But so. that yes, but that sounds like a Twitter like oh, argument. Right. Yeah, right. doesn't right. it? Yeah. That's like literally what before, Twitter says about Batman. Is like, why didn't he just donate all his money? Right. It's like that's that's the Twitter complaint about Batman. Humans are the rank and file of the invading army, transformed by bioengineered weapons known as terminauts. The transformation process is by any metric fatal to the human host. The terminaut takes complete control, physically augmenting the body and subsuming intelligence. Ah. Follow-up for post-invasion. Investigate potential...
potential workforce. Oh, we already heard this. Oh, okay. We're in we're in Lexcorp. Yeah, right. I just didn't really recognize the the building at first. Okay, but I guess we can move on. And I'm randomly sliding for some reason. Uh, yeah. I've, oh. door. Aren't you just no, just go ahead and talk. I have a question here. Yeah. Did you have anything else to say about the previous thing, or are you trying to move on? I'm that? trying to move on. Yeah. Okay. Before we get I, into I, it. I wasn't throwing you under the bus. I I agree with you. I'm, yeah. I'm just saying I can't tell what the heck this game is trying to say or be, if anything. Gather up on that damn door already. Thinking of picking up all these care packages? Think fast. They killed one of our own, Bruce. I'm giving them a full military tribunal. If they didn't perish on the other side, then I'll continue scouting for them. You have your objective. Tell Brainiac not to worry. I'll focus on the shield and deal with those four murderers. Don't let them get under your skin. Yeah, copy that. So there's a Toy Man mission we could do. There's these Riddler things. There, hey, there's a Riddler trophy here. Should we get that? Run and grab that, and then maybe do the um, the little beach patrol thing next to it. Can we actually go and get that riddle before we forget about it? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, it was shit. Boost, and I don't see Batman anywhere. Uh, I, I haven't yet either. Um, where was this? Um, so, when, where we went it to was, fight oh, the Flash. It was, uh, it was wait, down here. I, I still have my marker up. You do? Yes. Where's your marker? Because mine's the blue one. Oh, boy, I thought that was mine. Let's head over there. It was near that, anyway. Yes, let's go over there. It was kind of near the beach. There was, like, a whole thing going on. That was me saying nothing at all. I don't know why I said there was a whole thing going on. Okay, I was, like, wondering. Wait. Wait. Isn't she worried that we just murdered him and we're probably going to go for her boyfriend eventually? Mm, or does she just no. think that Superman's untouchable so no one can ever do anything to him? I think she thinks that. Oh. Okay. What was your point you wanted to make uh, before we got... Well, I was just going to make a joke. What was your joke? <laughs> was your joke about indefensive white men again? No. Okay, good. I was gonna ask if do you think if Lex Luthor's P star name is Sex Luthor? I think that's really stupid. But yes. <laughs> Definitely yes. One hundred percent. I thought that was funny. It is funny. Thrill the kids. Okay. Delight your tot. Um, bring your kids to the white you band spot. Okay. <laughs> oh cool. I haven't seen my daughter in I don't even know how long. There's a crooked space cop in our faces. I am tired. Targeting Quinn. I'm damn tired. My voice. Oh, I was sagging the pig. Touch this, Quinn. I'm glad that they cut off actually interesting uh, dialogue for other stuff. Yeah. Well, we have too many enemies in the world. Hey, there's one of these little things where you can see into hey, an art dimension. Is this a in the fabric of Rhea? I snagged us tickets on the last bus out of the bay. What for? Need I remind you that this is Metropolis and the Justice League has been up there for days. I'm telling you, something's wrong. You're being paranoid. I'm not going anywhere. We can do one. Give my ticket to those deserters by the station for all I care. You're being deluded. I'm getting... I really don't have a good feeling about this. All right, well... Oh. I don't remember where the flash thing was. I thought it was over here. It was somewhere by this Green Lantern thing. Yeah, I know, but I don't know where. Is it, um... It was a little play area. Yeah. Like a little carnival, mini carnival. I'm Maybe looking it's around by this pier here. I thought Actually, so. I don't know. I thought so. 
I thought so too. Is it where all these enemies are? Like in the center here? Uh, I thought it was this. No, it wasn't that. Um. Really fun commentary I got going, I guess. Well, I'm just trying to figure out where this is. And we we can never just like look for stuff because the game has to have... Oh, wait, I think I found it. I think I found it. You did? I think I found it. Follow me. Uh, Try following me if you can. If you can even see. If I can figure out where you are. Yeah, because we have five thousand things on the screen at all seconds. Is it this area here? Like right there where you're at? What about me? What? It, where like this area that you're in? I don't think this is it. Like right in here? You think? I mean, it might be over here, but it's not where I am specifically. Uh, well, is that only, what like, you were asking? Yeah. Like, is this it? Like, this kind of area? I don't know. I honestly have no idea. I thought this would be easy to find. I did too, because it was a circle. And it's supposed to... It's supposed to be in this area. Like, right here, where where this... Um... Maybe it's this. Maybe it's where this game destroyed this area. Really? Where all these enemies are at. Uh... Which then tells me that, that that was not a Riddler thing. Really, it wasn't the toy company that literally referenced the name? I don't know. But why Why would this whole... Yeah, here it is. I found it. 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 it is in that area. It's right over here. Okay. Let's scan this. Okay, all right. And it was it. That was it. Sorry, I didn't see it. <sighs> so it's basically part of the map got destroyed. That's why we weren't seeing it? Yes. I mean, it's cool that the map changed. Yes. Do you but, disagree? I mean, it is cool that the map changed. I just find it kind of annoying that they had to put it right next to this riddle thing as we're getting, like, just absolutely annihilated. That's true. All right, let's go grab the Riddler trophy. Okay. It's over here. I think I have it marked. Okay. Or I... Yeah. Nope, I do. So... Maybe it's under right the there. Pier? Yeah, I think it's... Oh, under. here it is. It's right by me. Jetpacks, man! How many of these things are there? Because I heard that when you I've do them, you unlock the cosmetics. Yeah, yeah, you probably unlock uh, Harley Quinn's Arkham costume. It's not I that. <laughs> okay. It's probably her in like a turtleneck or something. Wow. <laughs> that is something I think they've made a a just on purpose decision to do. Yeah, I Don't know. you? I do. I'm wondering if we should be doing... Like, I will do this one because it's a King Shark one. Okay. I actually was going to ask you... The fact will not go unpunished. We will eliminate the resistors. Eliminate the Argus militia. Eliminate any obstruction to processing. I'm wondering if maybe we should be doing these on our own time. You know what I mean? Yeah, like the riddles and the challenges no, not, and stuff. No, not the riddles. I think the, the challenges. Riddles, the riddles are fun. But these, like, go through this thing. Yeah, right. Yeah, probably. Because they're probably kind of boring for people. Are they? I guess I honestly have no idea. I don't know. Are, are they? I would think they are. Sorry, that was a dumb question. <laughs> okay. I got I got uh I got confused on how to do this. So I did really bad. Okay. Well, I will do these on my own time. How about we try and do some of these like traversal things before we play again together? Okay. Just at home. And just let's just not do the Riddler trophies, okay? Okay. Well, I like. Well, I want Riddler trophies. What do you mean? Like, we well, want to do the Riddler trophies. I want to do them in the Let's Play. Yeah. I want to do the Riddler trophies and the riddles in the Let's Play. I don't want to do all these random run here. Oh, jump you're saying? Hoops. I want to do these stupid things on our own. Got it. Um, they were saying that we should do more improvement stuff before we do more and i was reading the green lantern ones really hard so i'd like to grab this riddler trophy okay and then i'd like to do this toy man mission is that okay yeah i just okay. i didn't know if i was gonna get in trouble here because uh, apparently like i just suggested we do these you know things off the let's play channel and you're like no no stop you hate people What's something positive you think about this game? Like something you love? I've said things I love. I like the flying. I like the movement. It's very Sunset Overdrive-y. 
Uh, I like the voice acting. I like the costumes, except I don't like that they completely made Harley Quinn a nun in some of her outfits <laughs> compared to in Arkham. Right. Oh, well, Harley Quinn shouldn't be sexualized. Her literal conceptualization was to be Joker's sexy clown sidekick. Right. And that's it. By the way, Harley Quinn was never supposed to be a deep character. You can be the biggest Harley Quinn fan ever. I couldn't fucking care less. She was never meant to be a deep character. I'm glad that she is a deeper character now. That's awesome. I love it. She's one of my favorite DC characters ever. Yeah, she was just supposed to be in that one arc, uh, no. Uh, Couple of Batman yeah. episodes. Batman, the animated series episodes. I mean, I've even watched interviews from Bruce Timm, Paul Dini, people like this. They never expected that character to take off. Right. She was literally supposed to be Joker's sexy clown girlfriend. And that is it. And she was supposed to show this kind of, like, abusive side of Joker, how he uses people. And she was basically just going to be in the, you know, in the show and show up and she makes her jokes and gets her little sexy bits and that's it. Mm -hmm. That was the whole thing. That was all of it. And so when people say like, well, they've sexualized Mara and Harley too much. Dude, in the literal... I found it, by the way. If it makes you feel better. Uh, where are you? Uh, oh, right under there. You. In the literal... These, oh, seen. under me. In the literal DCAU, like, they have her have a joke about, don't you want to rev up your Harley? And they have her, like, come out of a cream pie like she's getting cream pied. Right, yeah. So don't sit <laughs> here and tell me, oh, well, she's too sexualized and you're just a horny virgin for wanting her to be sexualized. Harley Quinn is an inherently sexual character. She just is. Yeah. I don't care if you think she's not. She is. Now, if you want to redo that for, like, children, like, you know, like... DC superhero girls or whatever, and it's like for five to ten year old girls mainly is your demographic. I completely understand her not having her double Bs out. Like I get that, but this is very clearly a game based, at, you know, towards adults. Right. Just like Arkham Knight was, you know, an M rated game. Like this is very clearly aimed more at adults. So I find it kind of sad and pathetic how scared of those concepts these people are you know like how scared to actually go in on the adult themes mm -hmm. and like I, it, it really comes across puritanical to me enemies only take damage from critical hits critical hits cause damage to explode whatever okay so it comes out puritanical to me oh, I like personally that. that's cool i love that because does toy man not know yet that we killed flash i don't think so no. uh, he's gonna be upset it. when we kill Fl when he finds out um, so, something that's kind of annoying to me is that it's okay to, like, shoot Batman in the face, or to, like, have, you know, or to basically have Boomerang take his cock out, and, like, get ready to pee on Flash, and then have people comment how big his wiener is. Right. Those things are cool. Like, oh, fine. But Harley Quinn showing her boobs. Nah. Like, that's, to me, what's dumb, is, like... Women's bodies now are so off limits in in all these things. What's the weird thing is in in our society though, it's not right. I mean, everybody has like, an OnlyFans. Yeah, everyone on Twitter is just like, how can I show my tits more? Being a sex worker is a good thing. Which, like, I don't even care if you're a sex worker. I just think it's funny that that's okay. But a character having boobs in a show or or cartoon is for virgins. Yeah. It's weird. Like, I, I don't understand it. Like, which do you want? You know what I mean? 